So, when you said that there were uh, webcam shots of your genitalia, mm -hmm. what was going on? Was there masturbation involved? Um, not in not in all cases, no. What about with what Cheyenne? I think it was more like you well, know, here here here's a guy's thing now. Yeah. More that that was more of it. More of an education for her. I think so. I think so. In this video, you will see the interrogation of a university faculty member who was caught on the show to catch a predator, trying to have relations with what he thought was a 13-year-old girl. In 2007, Jim Rausch, a faculty member of the University of Cincinnati, began chatting online with a girl he believed to be 13 years old. The conversation was explicit from the beginning and soon involved Rausch sending unclothed photos of himself, one from his office at work. After several conversations and the exchange of phone numbers, Roche made the decision to meet up with Cheyenne. After becoming intoxicated, he attempted to find the house. He had difficulty and made an obscene call to try to get directions. Eventually, he made it to the Sting House where he was arrested and taken in for questioning. So you just were out driving? No, no, I don't want to admit, admit that. Okay, okay. Did you come out to see, see somebody today? Uh, somebody invited me to come over. Okay. Well, who was that? Uh, Cheyenne, somebody. Okay. How'd you meet? Uh, how'd you meet Cheyenne? I was online. Came up. Okay. Um, when you were online, do you do that at home, or do you? I do it at home. You do it at home. Yes. Is that generally the only place you do it? Yes. Okay. What do you have? you have your own personal computer or laptop? Yes. It's a both. Oh, do you have you have both? I actually have two laptops. Okay, two laptops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you just I, it's my business. Okay, it's your business. Okay. What what What's type it? of business? I I do web pages for for University of Cincinnati. I have access to those those. Uh, I need to have access to them mm -hmm. in order to do the business with them. Mm -hmm. with them. Okay. Okay. And you usually use all those computers to chat to people or chat or just use one, one specific or? Um, usually at home. Okay, usually at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And? If, if, I, if I do chat, if which do I, don't, I don't do. But that, again, because of the fact of the business that I'm in, mm -hmm. chat is a part of what I do. And chat is a part of University of Cincinnati distance learning. Okay. Rausch doesn't try to hide the fact that he has multiple computers, even though he has to know they will be confiscated. His comment about work, however, is baffling. While chatting online may very well be part of a job description, hitting on people using work resources shows a lack of ethics at best. And I need to be able to do to access that okay. in order to be able to do the business do, the business I do okay. with them. Okay. Um, so you met so you met Cheyenne. I didn't met meet Cheyenne. She she had, came after me. Okay, she came after you. Tell me about that. I don't I don't know. I don't know exactly how it happened at all. Okay. I have no recollection at all what happened. For her to make contact with me, I don't know. Was I on? Was I on some line of some sort? I have no idea. Okay. So you you were chatting, and she came on. She came on to you while you were chatting. Some sometime. Well, somebody, whatever, who that sign is. Okay. Do you do you know how old China Ann was? She told me she was thirteen, but and, and I was very very very. I don't I don't do that. You don't do that. I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there. Not there? No, not at all. Okay. Um, I'd be happy, you know, like, give me a, give me an 18, 19 year old and I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. 
The emphasis on the phrase, I don't want, to speaks volumes. And one cannot help but cringe when Rausch says he would be happy with an 18 or 19 year old. It is obvious that he is choosing the minimum age for consent because he somehow thinks that will help him look less threatening. Okay. 13 year olds, I'm. Guys, it's gross. Not, not your thing? No. Okay. And when you were talking to Cheyenne on the chat, chat line, what did you guys talk about? Well, and up until this afternoon, which was, uh, I don't know what I, I, I gave in for, but I thought, thought she was more like a, an adult. But um, no, I, 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 I was very, very cautious not to, not to be there. I didn't want to be there. Okay. I really don't. I really, that's not, not, not my thing. I don't like it. I don't want it. Don't want. Oh, it was worth. But you might have to get a little curiosity. Get a little curiosity. No, I don't even. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even curiosity. I don't have any curiosity about it. It's it's too young. It's 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 stupid. And now you can go back and look at all the records of the conversations I've had. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I said. It's it's stupid. I don't. That's not what I want to be. Okay. You know. I don't even like. I don't even. I don't even. That's not. That's not me. Not yet. No, not at all. Uh, do you have any type of webcam or anything like that? I do have a webcam. Okay. Okay. Um, do you ever use it for any for any purposes? Or? It's a it's available. Okay. Use it. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> right. So we, we didn't we didn't get into what you guys talked about. What, what you guys talked about? I was very, very up until today, which is obviously the reason the results have come. But I have been very, very cautious of not talking about anything. I do not want to be involved with a 13-year-old. I do not like it. I don't want it. And I, for some reason, I just, I just gave re relaxed and... So who do you think you were talking to? Another person. Another person. Really, that's perfect. I and mean, that's honest with you. I don't know for whatever worth value that is. Okay. I don't. I, 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 I don't. I I cannot condone the 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 statements that I would have made this afternoon to her. I, I, would, I wish I could retract them, yeah. not because of you guys, yeah. but because of the fact that I, I, I just don't, that's not it, that's not me. I don't, I don't see it. I don't. Jim, I understand, right? And I'm, I'm, you're, you, you, I understand you, you've made a mistake, okay? I've read the chats, okay? Right. And you I, can see I, how you know. You know, I I see here where you you told her that you wanted to to fuck around, and that you. We're we're in what in what provoked that? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know. I mean, you, we can go down. With, I, yeah. I'm not going to go to the details of the thing. Yeah. I, I I understand what you got. Yeah. And I, I know what you got. I'm I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand here. I you know, I, I, I did not I did not meet with her number one. Number two, I, I didn't really want to meet with her. Okay. It was, it was, I, I really, if you go to the, the bottom lines of things, talk, let, let's talk about facts that I denied and I did not want to do that. I really did not want to. Jim, I know you're under a lot of pressure right now. I'm, I'm not sure under your pressure wife, at all. I, well, I'm not, I'm really not. I mean, obviously being here is a little bit yeah. of pressure, but that's not. Are you married? Yes. No. No. God no. You want her? You can have her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I already got, I got one of my own. I, I, that's enough for me. Yeah, this is just give her ammunition. That's all. Well, I'm not trying to give no ammunition for nobody. This is just me, you, and Kate here, okay? Well, it's not, but... Well... Okay. I did not do anything to this, whatever this person is, whoever it is. I did not intentionally... Okay. Meet with I met with this person because this person 
whoever it is, male or female, whatever, enticed me to the point where I wanted to. Want to. And I, I... Did you... So you guys did talk about sexual acts in your conversations? I don't know that. You can go back. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I'm I don't looking, know. I'm, I don't know. I don't I really don't know. It doesn't really, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Roush's pretense that he can't remember the conversation he had with the girl is nothing more than a weak stalling tactic. Everything he said is available in the chat log, so all he is doing is prolonging the inevitable. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, I, Jim, I'm just trying to figure out what really happened because if. Well, if we don't talk about it now, and if I just give this to somebody, they're going to think you are a sick, maybe possibly a child predator, and I don't think you're that point, okay? I'm not. And you're not. But if we don't talk about it, what else Dumb. What else can I tell people saying, you know, Jim, Jim made a mistake. This didn't follow happened. through, number one. Number two. Number two, um, the, because the fact I didn't follow through was, yeah. is, I'm not so sure that I wasn't turned down the street right, right when, he, when I was picked up. Yeah. Um, if you if you check back on the, on the records, you, on, on the, the results, there have been three three at least three times where I where I turned around. And I, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't do this. I don't, number one, I don't really want to, mm -hmm. okay? Give me some sex, okay? And I'll find ways to do the sex, but don't, don't, no, not this used thing. Okay. This is crap. This is really, really crap. If nobody stopped you tonight, what do you think might have happened? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. And I'll be honest with you about that. I, I nothing. Nothing would have happened. <coughs> uh, okay. God, this, is this a place to tell the stories? Yes. As good as place as any. Jim, we're just trying to be honest with each other. I went to a swingers club last night and walked out. Where's that at? Up in Dayton. Up in Dayton, Ohio, Kentucky? Mm -hmm. Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. I walked out. I, 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 and the reason I walked out is because, you know, it's not for me. I'm, I'm not selective. I don't want you to think of it as being selective. I'm just I'm looking for some, some, some satisfaction of some, somebody. And, I, and, then, not, and I'm not looking, and again, my own motivation is not, not to, to, to um, just find somebody who is, who's, who's interested in me. Okay, not, 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 not young, not old, not fat, not thin, not someone who is interested in, in who I am. And that's where we are. And how long have you and your wife been divorced? Or been separated? Or? We've been, we've been divorced for um, 2000, was it four years? Five, almost four, almost five years. Five years ago? I've had other, I've had I've had relationships with other women. It's not it's not that. It's not a sexual thing at all. What is, what is it? There's somebody, and that, and I I guess I'm, and I'm, I put this out. Maybe this isn't the right place for doing it, but Cheyenne, whoever Cheyenne is, some. George down the hall talked to me. And when that person talked to me, it was a person. Now I have other people that I talk to and for whatever that's worth and I don't want to bring them into this but but it made you feel good then. It 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 kept me away from that loneliness that I have. When, I, when I'm sitting in, in my house by myself, and uh, somebody talks to me. Nobody to talk to? Yeah. 
you feel that lonely feeling and you know and whatever whatever and however that comments itself and she try and feel that didn't she she fulfilled that that need yeah but then it turns around because of this this crap which well, is which, which I understand you mean for doing it I, 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 I don't I don't I don't so I so think there's a need alone. for the, there's there's a need for people out there, and um, yeah, and um, that need is fulfilled by and and and, and, and the law enforcement. By the way, I'm in criminal justice. I oh. tell you that <laughs> I, okay. that's a bottom line. But right. but, but but I am. I, I at UC. I work for the criminal justice department. Um, Next, Roush tries to justify his actions by claiming he is lonely and looking to connect with people. Lonely people discuss hobbies and current events. Inappropriate advances do not fall into the range of normal, innocent conversation. There is a need for, 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 for people in this society to have a, have, have a connection with somebody. And I don't care. I don't want that where that connection comes from. I, I think is, is is crucial, and that's where I got fucked up, you know. But don't judge me on that. I'm not. Ju I'm not uh, judging you. I know. I know. I, I know you're not. I know, but eventually I will be. So yeah, and, and I know that system how it works. Um, but Jim, I I can understand that you know when you're feeling lonely and you, know, you feel like you have. You know, you're by, do you, you just live by yourself? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you felt that lonely man, you go home every night. Mm -hmm. You're feeling lonely. You talk to Cheyenne. Or whoever. And whoever, you know, you're chatting to Cheyenne here. You feel like you can feel, do you feel like you can feel open to say things? Right. <coughs> and, 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 and I don't, and I don't, you know, and I think it's unfair of the, of the, of the, the justice systems to to condemn me for talking to someone. Um, if it's it's underage, I, I can understand that, and I, I know that's where you come in. Um, my relationship that that create was created by with my relationship to 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 Cheyenne was because of the fact that I that I closed that out, and I. I, I, I fault you guys with that because uh, of the investigations or how you do that is that that person who, who's making those communications starts to connect with the person mm -hmm. and that connect and that connection that that you make is not is uh, maybe maybe with the perverted people is is, is one that's it's really negative but with a person with a person like me it connects. Mm -hmm. it's, there's somebody who's talking to you, and um, I don't. Know. You do what you have to do. Let's let's put the bullshit in the school. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm to the point. You know, I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to get back to my with my ex-wife. I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. I have people who who don't want to talk to me anymore. I don't. So I have I have somebody who's shying who to, to toss or whoever it is, you whoever is shying. And it's okay. Yeah, maybe I went over the border. And um, if I did, that's what I'm paying I'm paying the price. So you spend a lot of time chatting? I don't know what a lot, a lot of time is. Um, I, I guess it's relative. It really, it really is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, probably a couple hours a day, yeah. maybe three, and and, and 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 most of it's not chatting. Most of it's just trying to find someone who wants to talk. Yeah. And I think that's a I think that's a major problem too. What do you generally talk about with Cheyenne or other people? Um, just whatever anything, comes any, up. Anything. Anything. Music. weather <laughs> you know yeah. really you know it, it really is um, I'm trying to you know I'm, real, I'm really being awesome 
about that. I don't. I don't think it's going to go any further. I mean, you know, you're going to do this great, wonderful thing. You're going to find out the answers to the world on, on chatting. But it's a, it's a whole world out there, and um, I have I have some real problems with what's going on right here. Um, because I think it's an invasion, an invasion of, of privacy. Not not in terms of the the the, the, the younger age. I think that somebody else should have stopped that before I got to it. Well, I'm not a chatter. Okay. So if you could educate me a little bit on, okay. I'll, 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 you perfectly. know, where where would you go to okay. find in somebody the case to of, talk in the case of the Cheyenne thing? Mm -hmm. um, that was done through Yahoo. In a strange attempt to shift blame, Rosh makes it sound like as if the detectives are persecuting him for being lonely. The righteous indignation falls flat after he has already admitted to believing that the girl was 13. Yahoo Messenger, mm -hmm. who has, if you're 18, you're not allowed here. If you are uh, if in, this, in the sessions, Adult, can Adult, Kentucky. And I, in 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 that regard, I, that's where I really come off with, with I think it's it's not fair for you to come at me. Um, I'm except for the fact that up front, because of the way you guys do the way you do things, you make make sure that you say it's thirteen, fourteen. But that shouldn't be there in the first place. If if you if you if it's going to be a le if it's going to be something that legally com binds Yahoo or Goggle or whoever it happens to be to be an adult place to go, then if I go there. And you even say that you're 13. Why are you there in the first place? How did you get through that first, that first level? And and I really, I really have a, a problem with that. Um, I, you guys have heard this over and over and over. I, I'm really interested in knowing how this chat thing works and how you met Cheyenne. Uh, what type? I, have, I, I don't have any idea. I uh, go back to that. I don't know. I don't know what initiated the first conversation with Cheyenne. I don't. I don't remember. It's, it's, it could have been three weeks ago. It could have been a week ago. I have no idea. But, but I know that maybe I went through and I looked and and I went down my my my, my list of people who were adult camps. And I said, hey, you interested in talking? Boom. Webcam available. And she got, the, the name came up. So it you could up. tell that they had a webcam? Yes, you can tell that. Okay. So that's something that you look for no, when you no, talk no, to no. people? I don't, no, 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 no. I don't look for it. I don't oh, look for okay. it. No, I look for somebody to talk to. You know? And... Um, but if they have a webcam, even better. It, no, no, it, it doesn't really matter. It oh. really doesn't matter. It means that they're probably a prostitute and they're, they're putting their stuff out in the camp. Uh, so Most likely, it means that it doesn't mean a damn thing at all. So what happens after that? Like okay, I put up a message out and they respond. And, her, and uh, Cheyenne responds. What happens after that? I'm. I'm not tax. I'm not tax savvy. So uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so Cheyenne responds. She says, "Hi, how are you? Hi. Yeah, what you doing?" And it go and it goes from there. And then you know, if if, if they're if they're in the legal system and they're they're taking care of their little little niches that they need to take care of, I say, "Well, hey, I'm only 13." Oh, that's okay. 
still want to talk to you. What's going on? How was school today? And I do, and I don't mean that. I don't. That sounds so trite. And it doesn't. And it doesn't mean in terms of me. I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher. Yeah. I've done it. How was How was your school today? Is not well. Let me get in and fuck you. That's not it. It's understanding that person. And 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 I, I guess I guess that's what the Because they have social needs too. Just they have like social you. needs. Here okay, and then in the in what is presented to me from Cheyenne or whoever it is. Stupid except me as one is here's this girl, supposedly girl. Who supposedly is going through a divorce, whose parents are separated, not as an opportunity for me as a predator to go after them, but as a person to, to try and answer questions. And then, and then and I. Another way to justify or minimize their crime to others is to make the contact with a minor sound noble. Rosh acts as if his only thought was to help a struggling girl and implies that others should feel ashamed for thinking otherwise. Uh, except for, like I said this afternoon, which which I I went on the way over, and I only went overboard because of the fact that I um, personally was frustrated. But that's the here. So, do you see your role as helping them through their life as well as them helping you? I'm always doing that. That's the person I am. Sounds like you've done it for many years. I mean, you've helped people, you know, 30, 40 years. Yeah. And, and not on the internet, but, but, but yeah. Well, I'm not, gonna say, I'm not saying in your life. In your lifetime, you've, you've helped many, many people. To my colleague that's next door to me, I, I'm, helping, I'm helping her do what she needs to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not a, a bad person. I'm really yeah. not. Um, and, and I didn't hurt her. I hurt whoever, the, whoever this. Cheyenne was, which was, and I knew it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I, 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 I knew this was bad. I knew this was bad. And in the in the back of my mind, I knew what was bad. It was, uh, it was all a setup. Oh, talking with her was mm -hmm. a setup. Yeah, from the beginning. <clears throat> Uh, and, and, and in in that in that set in that in that in that frame, I was hoping that it wasn't. But in the the, the, the good nature that I am, I, I you know, that's much more. I really wanted to help. I I, I you know. How, how are you going to help her tonight? I don't know. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Talk with her. Talk with her about this divorce thing that her parents were going through. I mean, really, uh, that was that was my just. Do you think it could have been more? No, no, no. Got it. Okay. I, let me go back to was <laughs> talking last week. I went to like I said, a swingers club last night in Dayton. I walked down. Three women there. That's not what I want. I mean, it's sexual, sexual, sexual. But in your chat, you ask if if she would have sex. Well, be, be only, only, be only because I was trying to get that that corner into to her to to to, to let loose and you know, and I don't know, maybe maybe in the wrong, maybe in, in the in the in the bad sense of things, maybe that, that was it. But I don't. I don't think it was. I, I wouldn't have followed through with it. I think it was more trying just trying to get a connection with her. Yeah, yeah. I really do. I really do. I think she's she just just doesn't know where she's going. She doesn't know where she's going. And she's trying to figure life out, and you're trying to help her figure that life out. I, I, at, at, at least in in my sense of in it. In your mind. In your mind. In your mind. I. You know. I. I would have. The last thing I wanted to do was come over here to Campbell County and. Get, and, 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 and be a 13 year old give me a break last <laughs> night I could have had I could have had two women why would I want to do why would I want to do that but 
But tonight you were just trying to help somebody. I, I, I really think I really feel I was trying to do that. I really, I'm, and I, I turned her down twice. If you read those damn emails, I turned her down twice. I, I'm not coming. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. it it's, uh, it's too much for me to do. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I really and I really felt that way. But I was I was trying to. She was so certain now again. This that. And this this is the part that bothers me. Isn't it? That, that 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 provoking to to get me to do. Something. Making those types of charged remarks to an emotionally vulnerable child is the opposite of helpful. But Rausch continues to cling to his flawed reasoning. He acts as if this was something he was forced to do, as if a grown man is powerless to refuse a 13-year-old. He's trapped, and he is angry at getting caught, so his only option is to passive-aggressively lash out at the people who have confronted him. Without that provoking, I would have, she have backed off. If it had been backed off, I would not even have even thought about it. Yeah, but she must have really needed you for you no, to... No, not for she, her to, whoever it is. Let's, let's, let's make clear. Right, right, but what you because thought that, 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 was that, that she that, needed you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and you know what, I, and I go back to that in relationship to the police department, the criminal justice mm -hmm. You gotta watch out how far you take that, because there are people who do care about other people, and I'm, I'm, I'm and you, you can write off this thing. Oh, I, you can take me to court and all that. <coughs> I, I wasn't gonna hurt that kid. And I don't think you were. I, I wasn't. I, 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 I no, there's no question Jim, about Jim, it. Jim, I honestly think you were not going to hurt Cheyenne or whoever you thought you were gonna meet tonight. You're, Jim. I know you're not going to hurt her, right? No, I, 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 I know that. No, I wasn't. You, I, wasn't. You, I don't think you had any. I have more hurting. intention of hurting myself than I do of hurting her. But her. you needed to fill a void. I need, no, no, no. It's not a not a void. I, I don't want to make it a void. I got people I talk to some some places. Okay. What a need. What a, what I have. A, I have a need. To help people, yeah. Um, maybe maybe that's closer to it than than filling a void. Than because I do have people who have problems, and and, and I have no problems. But yeah. Relati I anyway, relationships so. are hard, and yes, it sounds like that um, the connection that you were making with her, she was innocent. You were innocent. You were just trying to help her. Um, and it just got out of hand. It just hand. Got, it got out of hand. I agree with you. Yeah. And it's it's much easier to talk to a younger person because they're more open and understanding. But see, and, this, and, then I got, and again, this is the lesson I think that you need to learn. You're playing a role. And when, or whoever does, whoever's doing it. Is playing the role of something that they're not, and when they play that role, they've got all this stuff behind them, all this garbage. Not garbage. It's not really garbage. It's really experience. Okay, they've got that behind them, and they're manipulating that all the way through it. Mm -hmm. And with a person or a a, a good successful. Officer, who is is doing this, a good officer can 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 remove that a little bit, so they can be innocent, to to bring that in. But the the return on that, which is the problem, is the person from the outside who comes in. They don't see it as that person who has 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 all that control, and therefore relax, give up levels of 
of, of, of intensity that they might not have if they were talking to an adult. And therefore, because of relaxing that intensity, maybe get some things out that need to get out, but also go, in my case, go over overboard. And, and expect that person who's on the other side who, who is intelligent enough and has the experience enough to really understand what's going on there makes a critical judgment instead of an emotional ju uh, judgment on what's happened to a person like me. I don't know if that makes sense, but do what you have to do. I don't, I don't really care. I, I mean, I really do. It's, gonna, it's either going to crush my life or it's going to where we're, we're going to go. I think by getting it off your shoulders and talking about it, I think at least you're making a step somewhere. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get some damn thirteen-year-old in my bed. I don't, I, that's not it. If I want to get somebody in my bed, I go to the swingers club. I go to the date people I date, which are, there, are, there are three or four that I normally date, and, and I can do that. It's not. That's not. I, I mean, that's not. I'm not a predator. I'm not that. That that in that ballgame. I don't like even young women. I don't, there's a little problem with that. A, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's like young guy, little guys. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Put them over there. That's, that's not your thing. <laughs> okay, it really is something. Yeah, that's not your thing. But, it, but it's nothing but, but beyond my... Roush alternates between acting as if the girl actually exists and telling the detectives he knows it was a setup. He berates them for their methods, saying that an adult will come across as more mature than they should while they're posing as a minor. He ignores the fact that her age alone invalidates all of his excuses. Not my thing. It's I don't. There are people out there who do, and, and that's not me. And, you're, yeah. you're, and I'm really serious. You know, Jim. If I thought that was you, I wouldn't waste my time here with you, because if if I felt that way, I'd say, you know what, Jim's yeah, like that. Right. Throw you away, and okay. I'll get to Okay. Let me give you another indication. I taught music for 31 years. I have never been arrested in that 31 years for any kind of child molestation or anything like that. And the third An important distinction needs to be made. Just because someone hasn't been arrested doesn't mean they aren't guilty. It just means they haven't been caught yet. Often predators are more cautious in real life than they are on the internet because they usually think that the separation from the rest of their lives gives them some level of protection. 31 years, I've seen many, many kids go through the, through my, my system and through the systems that, that I work. It's the wrong ballgame. I mean, it's just not, it's not me. Okay. So when you were online chatting yeah. and you felt that you were you felt like you were talking to somebody who possibly did understand and probably had some experiences. You felt like you could let go, right? You know, it's funny uh, to put it in perspective. Over the last couple weeks, which China has been involved, I did not feel that way until tonight. And I don't know what made that difference. I don't. I have no idea what made that difference. But I felt like, like maybe maybe it's a movement on the part of the people who, whoever did it to to to, <coughs> to kind of motivate me to go that direction. Um, no, I really was very very cautious of not letting my, any information out, not not a, not not even my emotions until tonight. Tonight, tonight you felt. You know, you could be I guess I was looking free. I just looked. I was just looked down. I did. I was. Uh, I was. I was tired of playing games and, and doing well, things and just backed off and just. Okay, you want to you want to talk? You want to get together? Here's my phone number. Give me a call. I'll do it. I mean, really, it's. it's, it's, it's and you let, your, you let your guard down. I let my guard. You let your guard down. I let my guard down only because of the fact that I had my guard up. For weeks, yeah, and 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 only 
and, and, and through that guard that I had, I thought maybe she needs some help. Maybe she needed to talk to somebody. Maybe she was moving in a direction that she that I could help her in some way. Really, that's the honest answer. And what did you want to talk to her about? I mean, I mean regards to, to talk I, I want I wanted to open up those those channels. I don't I don't know where she was yeah. in that regard. I wanted to open it up so she could talk to me. Uh, and she in 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 the past she was she was guarded too. And she. You got, I mean, you talked about a lot of things. You said you talked about, you know, different things. You mm -hmm. know, um, do you, how was it you guys talk about? I know you said you let your guard down mm -hmm. and you're feeling lonely. How many times did you guys talk about sexual things? Uh, not nothing until tonight. Okay, nothing. Until that, I'm, that I'm aware of. That you're aware. I don't remember anything. The connotation of the and if it was if it, if it was it was like really off the wall. Off the wall. Yeah, it wasn't like as as as, as, as straightforward as it was. Tonight. So what do you consider straight? Kind of off the wall. Just something that you remember. Oh, talking about. I don't, I don't. I don't remember. I don't, don't remember specifically. Do you guys? I mean. You just off the wall things, maybe about getting a blow job or anything like that, or oh, talking about uh, how what kind of relationship do you have? She what she have with her boyfriend? Okay. And, and, uh, do you guys go deeper than that? He ever touch you? Yeah. About that. That's about that. That's about the extent of it. That's that's about the bottom of it. Really. I mean, did she ever talk to you about going deeper than that? I mean, any? Not until tonight. No, 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 no. I'm not sure she really went that far with me as much as I went through her which, yeah. which is my problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you guys talk about tonight that just kind of seemed like everything? I don't, I don't know what it was about tonight. I, to, um, I don't know what, what provoked that. Uh, maybe it's just a, a commonality or, or a, just a talking over a period of time, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which is probably about a lot of it. Kind of culminated over a couple no, of weeks. No, it wasn't a culmination. It was more, it, it was more of, of, a, of a... The detectives try to discover what motivated Rausch to want to meet in person, but he dances around the question. On some level, he realizes that there is no legitimate reason for him to have gone. Of a... Of a um, Just a just a uh, uh, a relaxed nature between two people. Uh, uh, I, 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 like I said, it doesn't. It wasn't a culmination of things. It was more of a of a of a relaxed nature of. Understand each other. I. I so you felt like you were on the same page? Yeah, I, I, and, and yeah, yeah. That 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 we could talk about something. And you were you were open. You guys were open. You I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I, I think it became it be, for some reason it became more open tonight than ever before. And um, and then obviously exploded. But. Again, I jump on you guys for that. I jump on you for that because because that that what what, what I needed, whether it was Cheyenne or Joe Blow, I needed somebody to talk to, and and instead of somebody to talk to, I ended up with with investigations. Well. I, I understand. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't criticize you for it. Don't understand. Don't misunderstand. I understand. I. I. I, I it's, it's. It's a. It's a real social, and it's a real social problem. I don't know how often. And often do you do this every night? No. 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 This is, Jim. You. You know. Like I said, before. We're just trying to. Get out what happened tonight and what's been happening. And, you know, I understand that 
you, you've had a rough time. Mm-hmm. You, you, you've needed to talk to somebody. Yes. You could have you could have went out with two women or three women the other night. Fifteen. I mean, it was, right, it was last the other night, yeah. two nights up there. Talking to Cheyenne made you feel good. Kind of let you. It, let sol- it solved a problem, it, 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 but it didn't solve a problem in terms of I didn't do anything except for talk. Yeah. And <coughs> when you. And then tonight was just a culmination of, you know, you, you felt like, you know, hey, maybe, you know, maybe I need to see her. Maybe she can actually, I can open up. I can open up to her. And, it's a, and that's exactly, and that is really essentially it. Uh, I, and, I, and, and I, you know, did it, would it come to in some sexual thing? Uh, I'm not going to say it wouldn't, but I'm, I'm in the, on the other side of me, which... Which, it it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, it it. it I can't believe your phone's ringing. It would not have. It would never reach that point because of the person I am, mm-hmm. and because uh, I would I would never take advantage of her. If you go back on those and you'll see it. How many times I asked her, Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? And the reason why is because Ross is adamant that he would never have relations with a minor, but in the next breath. He talks about asking her if she was sure she wants to do this. As the adult, Roush knows full well that a minor is unable to give consent, and it is his obligation to ensure that the issue is never even brought up. I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to. She was young, supposedly. She was young, and I did not want to do that. I, I really, this young thing. I don't think you. And you did not. I know you didn't want to hurt her. No. And you, and you went there tonight to see her, to help her out, you know. And things could have, you know. But you, but you would. I don't think if anything would have happened. And I'm talking anything. Mm-hmm. You would have never hurt her. I, I Jim, I know that. No, I, right? I wouldn't. You, you would. You. That's not me. You, that's not you. But you know. You know, you know, you were there for her. You were going to try to be there for her. And you came here for that reason, to be there for her tonight. And, and, I, and let's, 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 let's be realistic about that, too. Yeah. I, I came here to be for her, possibly sexually, too. Yeah. And, 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 and I, but I don't know if I could have ever done that. Yeah. I, I don't think I could ever done I mean, I, I'm serious. I have, I, went to the, I told you, this one swingers club. Yeah. So I've been dating. I have gone there twice, yeah. and I've walked away because, no, that's not what me, what I want. I, I, I want to go to some place and meet somebody who really, really needs what I am, not my you, dick. You know. He wants you for you. Wants Jim. Yeah, and 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 I'll, and I'll do I'll do a hell of a lot for that. We can go into personal yeah. <laughs> details on that, but but there are people. There yeah. are people in my in my life who would do anything for me to yeah. to just give up everything I have and just go with them. Yeah. But I won't do it. And there are other people on the inside who 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 who. Need every bit of me, yeah. and I can't give. I can't give them that because I've got this other person who really needs me, who doesn't, who won't say the thing. Yeah. And tonight, Sound, go ahead. sounds like there's a lot of relationship issues going on oh, for you right now. Oh, absolutely. I have no, no question about it. Yeah. I can be specific about it. You want specifics, or you want to talk about legalities? I have a girlfriend who won't get married, who doesn't want to see me, except for on the weekends when she wants to get fucked. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have another another woman who would just who would just would would love for me to just move in with her. I can't move in with her because she she's she's not going anywhere. She's not I want I want this one to come around but she never will. So what I do, juggle phone calls on those two. Then we add in 
the other emotions of, you know, okay, so I can't satisfy any of the one with two. I know you. <laughs> I can see you're gone on this. You have no clue what I'm talking about. But, but, there, but this, all, this is all going on. But these are your feelings. Yeah. These are your feelings. Well, no, they're, they're beyond my feelings. They're, they're, they're people who, who affect my feelings. And they're people who, who I can get down on my knees and say, stop this shit. Yeah. And then, and they, they, you know, so eventually I'll die and, and everybody else will go on. And, and tonight, this is, I, I, as I said, I don't care. I don't want to be involved in a whole bunch of legal shit. I've been there before, not, not major, but, but yeah. yeah, I don't, I know what's like. I know what this shit is like. And uh, but you wouldn't be there for her tonight. I wanted to help somebody out. I and wanted, I wanted somebody. She, her mother was not around. Her father was not around, and she didn't know what to do. And she had emotion, emotional feelings. Mm -hmm. Sexual feelings. Mm -hmm. She had a multitude of feelings. Right. And, and I could answer some of those by my dialogue, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And make back from. You know, but right now we're talking about it. And that's the main point. I mean you could you could come in there and say that, you know <coughs> I still I still feel sabotaged. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sabotage. You. But I feel sabotaged. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. because because of the fact that is I'm 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 not out there fucking the, the thirteen year olds and 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 are uh, getting them drunk and and taking them up to hotels and as we always know from the news today. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that, and I and I don't have a desire to do that. The detectives are allowing Ross to say his piece with minimal interference. So they do not point out that he was well on his way to doing these very things when he was caught. But you, but you felt a connection tonight. I, I and tonight, tonight I was. Felt she, she needed. And she needed you, and you. Uh, and I needed her in some yeah. sense. And I needed to be able to let yourself go. No, no, no. I needed to. I needed to there's help a, her. There's a needy. There's a needy. To thing. help her. I needed to. to I need to fulfill a need of somebody, and I've always done it all, all my life. I, I would go back to history with the, with the, with the, my school, yeah. and it's always it's always that trying to find some way to help some kids, and I really felt that I really felt that need. I'm, and I'm not, it's not bullshit. It's just the way I feel. That's bullshit. I mean, if that's the way you feel, I, I mean, I don't think that's bullshit. Well, I know, but on the on, on the outside of it. it People look at it, they, they, don't, they don't see it. But you have feelings. I mean, you'd be inhuman if you didn't have feelings. And tonight was about feelings. Tonight, it was. Tonight was about feelings, and tonight was about you trying to help someone who you felt you needed. Help them is the, is the key word there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you and wanted to share. I wanted to be. Them. I wanted to be able, after the discussion of the, of the we talked about, if it's if it's sexual or whatever it happens to be, I wanted to 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 sh to you know share that this is how I would see it. What do you need? Where 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 do we go from there? What what what? How how does my role change with you? Enough, enough, enough labor. Do, do what you have to do. You know, Jim, um, you've said several times that, you know, you feel sabotaged. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make life harder for you. I mean, you're in the situation that you're in, and right now we have an opportunity to talk through things and maybe get you in a better situation so that you don't feel sabotaged. Okay, in, 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 that, in that relationship, in that, in that perspective, how do I deal? I'm going to be online, unless you guys chop up my arms and take the job away. Um, and deal with that 
when I see somebody who does have a need, um, I don't. I don't mean searching out. I'm not talking. I'm somebody. I am. That's a whole other thing. I never, never have gone to somebody on the internet who hasn't responded to me. However, that however that plays a perspective and how you deal with the job that you do. For me, once they respond to me, then 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 I have not an obligation. I don't, I don't, I don't, but but I but I I need to, I, do I need to answer them or do I shut it off? And and that is real. That is really hard for me. Yeah. That is really hard when somebody said hi. After I said hi to them, I mean, just that symbol, just that symbol. If I if I don't respond to them, it says, "Oh, man, he doesn't care." It's like the thirty-seven thousand other people that don't care, you know. And I, and and I and I and I, I have a real problem with that because if somebody responds to me, I always respond to them. Mm -hmm. If you could talk more about um, the information that you exchanged with Cheyenne as far as pictures or I never sh chat. I, I did have my, my webcam and my webcam has, has been both, with, uh, been both uh, uh, visuals, I mean, obviously seeing me, and, uh, facially. Uh, genitalia. Genitalia. Yeah. How many times would you say? Um, I would say maybe one or two times that she has accepted to see me okay. that way. And that was on Yahoo. It was on Yahoo, okay. and it was her. I, ne I, I never, I never forced it on her. She always, she always asked to, to have it, have, have uh, to accept it. Um, uh, but not. It, it's not always been genitalia, but that. Phase, genitalia. So there's a multi yeah. multitude of different things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that, but that's only, uh, and again, only because of the fact that that's the way I was at that point. Uh, not, not that I was. No. Okay. Cheyenne is going to be on, so let's put it on my dick. No, it was never that. It was a. It was there. I just clicked on webcams available. She accepted it. Or not accepted it. In most cases, and, and she didn't always accept it either. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, well, was this in response to the conversation you were no, having? No, there was no, no, no. There was there was usually no conversation in relationship to that. No, no, no conversation. No, nothing. Just because a minor doesn't protest doesn't automatically make something okay. It also doesn't matter if they specifically ask for something. The language Rosh is using implies that he is comfortable doing anything as long as the minor agrees to it. This also leaves a lot of room for manipulation and subtle pressure that someone inexperienced might not be able to recognize. Uh, is, is this an adult cam? No, not even, even now. This cam is available. If you want, you can see it. If you don't, when, when you sent that, but that's okay, okay again. But in relationship to other people other than than Cheyenne, that was that was common practice, common practice for me. What, you, what, what did you hope when if did somebody you, wanted to look at it, they could they could they could look at it, decline, and look at it, stop, go on, do their own. Thing. So I, that, that was my that was my yeah, and that was my. That was what I expected them to do. If they didn't want to see it, they didn't do it. If they did see it and they didn't want to look at it, they could click off. So you sent it as something that's, if she wanted to view it, she could view it. If she didn't, she didn't want to view it. Exactly. And I, I, mean, I, I would have done that with, I would have done that beyond, but beyond Cheyenne, the way all the, uh, any other people that I had had, had, had any contact with. 
I mean, when you go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and you get a response, and you put on, and you put on uh, my webcam is available. That's it, and then then you get that cho that choice. So, when you said that there were uh, webcam shots of your genitalia, mm -hmm. what was going on? Was there masturbation involved? Um, not in not in all cases, no. Just there. Just there was some, there there was masturbation in in places of people who did have a connection with me. Okay, in other words, people who stayed with me and, and been long, short term. No, no. What about with what Cheyenne? About Cheyenne? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, and that and that and that, that may be just a I don't remember, but I I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it was more like, you know, here, here, here's a guy's thing, yeah. More, that, that was more of it. More of an education for her? I think so. I think so. She, she was, uh, at least whoever, whoever she is, <laughs> we go back to that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it was, it was more of, of a, of a, um, exploratory. This is, this is what a guy looks like. Yeah. Oh, your boyfriend looks like you ever touched that your boy boyfriend? Yeah. Oh yeah, I touched him once. Okay. Nothing more than that. Nothing for her. That, that I remember. I sure. remember. Okay. And you said you only did that like one or two times. You said you sent something out or um, probably one or two times. Uh, uh, no more than that. And in tonight. Um, said you were going to be for her in various issues, you know, because her son with her parents and... She said her mother was working at the hospital and that, that, that she was free and and, and, yeah. and, I, and I connected and... And you... I gave her my phone number. You gave her your phone number. Which, is, which was a big, was a, was a big step for me. Yeah, well, for... You know, well, a big step for me because, number one, I, 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 never had a, I didn't even know where she lived. Yeah. And um, um, and then we, we followed through with that and that, that fiasco. Yeah. Been driving all over. Driving. Again, How, how'd you find her? How'd you find her place there? Um, luckily. Did you get like a map quest? Or? No, I, I had originally had a had a had a, a, a map, but but uh, we never. I I, I I spent I spent an hour looking. Her directions were terrible. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> or who's whoever it is. They're crazy. They, they were terrible. Yeah, they were. <laughs> so, did you have to call her back? Or? She called me, and then obviously that was. The and that's where you kind of kind of asked where where is this? Well, where am I going? What am what, I doing? Was it a cell phone? Or? I'm not uh, sure. Or your My, phone. I had a cell phone. I had a cell phone. So she was calling you on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Or whoever it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you ever called her on your cell phone or anything no. like that? No, never. Not till night. Okay. And. Tonight, I know a lot of things you wanted to express certain things you wanted to kind of, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to express your feelings, Jim. Okay, I am. I'm trying to express your feelings, and because and I want to get it right. I don't want to say something that's not right. Okay. And As Roush describes the evening. It is jarring to hear him laugh about some of the inappropriate things that were brought up in the conversation he was having with the girl. It shows no remorse or recognition that it was wrong. But you, tonight, you know, you wanted to see how she was emotionally, sexually. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, does that what kind of the condoms come into play? Was the what condoms she had on you? I, 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 I wanted to put them in my pocket, which I did last night also. Yeah. That maybe that should be noted. Yeah. I, I put the, I put the condoms in my pocket tonight. Yeah. I if if there's something culminated that 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 she that it went that direction. I at least you want to feel you be safe. Okay. I, the same reason why I had them in my pocket last night in case of when I went to the swingers club, yeah. I would have them in in that case. I, and you and you protect yourself. I know. No, yeah. Number one, I protect myself. Number two, I protect the person. Just like I said, you 
you care about people. I can mm -hmm. understand that you would would want, like I said, you didn't want to hurt nobody. You, exactly. That's and, exactly. And that's you know, and tonight went in that direction. You you were at least been prepared. I was prepared if it did it when it came to that point. Yeah. Which did I really expect it to be there? Did you want it to be there? Oh yeah, I'd love to be there. <laughs> only, only, only a sense that I, that I, I'm, I'm frustrated as hell. I mean, do I want to surrender? Stop the way there. Well, no, yeah. I can go down. I can go down the list. Uh, down the <laughs> I can go down the list. It's been two weeks since I've had a. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm frustrated as hell. But to, and uh, expectations of it being there. And it, it, it really is aggressive, an aggressive nature on my part. You know, but you I, have feelings. I mean, well, like, but one yeah. what I'm thinking of is, okay, I'm going to go over and meet her. So, so what happened? Whatever happens, okay, it's fine. And then I'm thinking about, okay, well, I'm going to stop over at uh, at uh, Rhinos over <laughs> after after it's over. With. Maybe there's, you know, Rhinos. Rhinos is over. It's, it's a it's a, a bar over in. Uh, any scheme. And, okay, so if you know, if 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 this this like does, doesn't happen or whatever, I'm ready. That's exactly where it was. And if things would have went, say things would would have went differently tonight, and we were not here. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think you could have had a relationship with Cheyenne? Do you think there was enough of a connection there that you could have a relationship with her? Uh, I think it's too early. But you did feel, feel connected. You did feel connected to her. I felt connected to her, but I, I but it was too, it was too fast. Too fast. Yeah. Um, um, it, it it probably would have been one of those things where we sat down, have have the iced tea, and, the, and I went home. Um, and that's what's so bad about this, because that's where I was. You know, maybe she wasn't the same where, or the same area, but I or whoever it is. But for me, I, I just, I really was not trying to. It's not this predator trying to. Get oh, it. And, yeah, and, and, and Jim, I, we, you, we, we've done one over that. Okay, but the, the point is, you still think that you, some so there's some sense of that. But Jim, if you made a mistake, I can handle. You made a mistake. Tomorrow. I did not contrive this this no. girl into to, to no. having sex with me. What I did, what I did was I tried to to, to, to meet with her to help her out to, to help her out in what she needs to do. She's going through some stuff with her. If if that's really and true, that's, and then I still go on with my life. And that's different from a predator. Yeah. Who well, takes, I hope so. Who God, takes, I hope so. You know, Jim, I, I, I see the difference. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, see, I, I hope I, so because I, I, saw, I, I certainly There's a clear there. distinction there. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I just, you know, I, 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 I don't want that clapped on top of me. I've spent many, many years not, not keeping away from it. But being aware that it's out there, and just being careful, yeah. and then to, and then and the, the fall on this is like the fact that Roush says he went with the attitude that whatever happens happens is enough to show what his intentions were. For someone who is supposedly careful about avoiding anything that could earn allegations of this nature, taking a condom to the home of a minor red flags him as a predator. Well, you've not had any issues before. No, not at all, not at all. But but, but the thing is, music teacher, elementary school. <sighs> there's there's magnitudes of shit out there for that, and, and things like this. If this had ever happened to me, I would, I would be fired from West Claremont immediately, because of the fact that there is that stigma, and because of the fact that, you know. I'm since retired, so that it doesn't matter. Anyway, so. But uh, but the, uh, but you should know that you should know that those qualifications that that, that, that come along with that territory 
and it's not just music teachers, it's, yeah. it's uh, the other teachers as well, any male teachers in elementary grade. And, like I said, I don't consider you in that category. And, okay. why I'm here, is there anything, I don't think they expect I would find anything, but is there anything in your vehicle that I should mm -hmm. know about? I think? I don't think so. Would you mind if any of the officers would look through to oh, see? Oh, I've never done that at all. Okay, so you don't mind if they look through your vehicle? Uh, if, if they fill up my tires with air. Well, I don't. I will. I will, I will, I will ask them. I, you know, I'm sorry, I'm I will ask them, but I don't know what you'll get. The reason I say that is because my light came on. Oh, so okay. my air pressure is well. I, I, I will. No, I, I, will, I, will, I let no, them know. There's not a damn thing in that car. But you don't mind them taking so a look? You don't mind them searching? Not, not at all. You want me to go get those forms? Yeah, I don't do drugs. I don't do okay. that kind of thing. I do drink, but <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hand me my paper and pen there if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've had my drinks and yeah. I've done that share of that shit. Yeah. I was a professional musician for years and years. years. Never did drugs. Anything Never did drugs. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, about the only time ever, well, I, I could have one experience. <laughs> I'll share what? Okay, I'll tell you. Here. It was with my ex-wife. Mm -hmm. we, we were, I guess, we were like, oh, I don't know, three or four married, three or three or four years married. We, we had a thirty-year marriage, mm -hmm. and she said, "Well, I want to try that that pot shit." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I I made arrangements to get this pot from somebody. I don't yeah. know, I remember who it was, and uh, we we had rolled these little little, little cigarettes and stuff. And, and yeah, didn't feel a fucking thing, right? She took a one, one, one draw of this, and she got deathly sick. <laughs> I mean, deathly sick. Death. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, we, we, at, the, at the end of the whole evening, I had called the doctor, and she, I had taken her to the hospital. <laughs> so you had all night of just her idea. <laughs> oh God! It was oh. That, that, and that, well, that, that was that's one of the only two times. I, I the other time was. Um, I was playing a New Year's Eve job in uh, Ashland, Kentucky, and um, it was the snow was really bad, and I had, had helped help move some some equipment and stuff, mm -hmm. and they pulled me back, and they took me to the hospital, and they gave me a damn shot of, of uh, morphine at that time in Ashland. I couldn't sit up at the piano. <laughs> I, I, I swear okay, to God, okay, I couldn't good. play. I, I couldn't play. I couldn't play with shit. <laughs> They had, they had hired you know they hired me for like a hundred dollars yeah. for that night and I could just gonna, that that that's my that's my drug thing. I I, I drink vodka. I drink I, I drink uh, I drink a lot of different things, but uh, probably a couple drinks a night. A couple drinks a night. Yeah. yeah. You said you said tonight you said you just had a couple drinks. Oh, yeah. A couple yeah. Of vodka tonics. I think you said. Or? And then, and that's what I, I usually I usually come home take a couple uh, take a couple drinks and just relax and. And that doesn't matter. Can I get home just kind of relax a little bit? And, yeah, and I do at home. I do. I, I do. And, and until I get a phone call that says, hey, hey you want more? I'm sorry. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, we're, we're just talking here, and, and that's that's the main thing. You know. Uh, I, I, I really have not done anything wrong here, except for follow up on something that somebody else has provoked me to. Yeah. And. Um, and you know, you like we what we talked about. You know, you just you I just you, cut you, off. You, you have a thing. You felt a connection. You felt a need to help her. Well, and, but the thing is, help you. it isn't a real person. So what I do is I cut it off, which is like my apparent I anyway. Yeah. Which is I cut people off from from really knowing me, which is probably more detrimental than. How often do you do that? Just every so often, or any time you get close to somebody, or. <laughs> I have somebody that's really close to me right now, but mm -hmm. I, I, she just—if she would come close to me, it would be, be my my be in euphoria, mm -hmm. euphoria. Yeah. There are other people that I can. Ross begins to chat with the detective as if they are friends. He is either oversharing because he is nervous, or he thinks that forming a connection and making himself likable will help his case. I was dating a couple on like, oh. People, maybe one person up in Wilmington, one person in Dayton, all, all in line, and all legitimate and all real people. Yeah. And I said, Well, the real person I want to be with is right here. 
And so I sent these emails to these other ones and said, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm going to have to stop seeing you because I really want to see this one person and then she doesn't understand. That's, that's hard. That's hard. It is hard. Um, mainly because I know that she's the right person. Yeah. I mean, I've kind of been married. I was married for 30 years and knew it was the wrong person. Yeah. Uh, and I've known this person for probably 10 to 15, 10 to 15 years. Somebody you work with? Or? No, actually not. It's somebody who I have had an acquaintance with, and, and uh, she's divorced, and yeah. everything's fine. She's got older kids. I have older kids, and she just she just is so scared of scared of. Come on in. Hey. You're the same person on the left. <laughs> yeah. Can I have that chat for a minute? Yeah. I'm going to run a copy of it, so okay. we'll have someone to look at. Okay. Um, actually, she, the, the person I'm talking about is, um, and again, this is, you know, you can take it for her, so she's, she's actually a social worker. Hey, can I have a folder for everyone? Sorry, nice. I'm sorry no, to interrupt right. you guys. Do, 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 do what you have to do. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right. She's uh, actually a social worker. She does with sexual abuse, and she and she, and she does exactly what you guys are doing, except for on a on a, on a um, medical aspect of it instead of a legal. Okay, this yeah. kind of helps helps people out too. See, uh, she, basically, she she's now a supervisor. She work, she's working for a um, yeah. job in well, well, we're, you know, we're in Ohio. Uh, what? All the ones with, with the Marcus White uh, cycles. Yeah, job and and job and uh, I can't remember the agency. It's part of the state of Ohio. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, so she's working with them. She's working as a supervisor. She works with she works with um, um, basically um, um, physical abuse. She used to work with with sexual abuse. Okay. God, day in and day out. Yeah, that's hard. Oh God, it's horrible. I mean, I would see her two, three times a week, and every mm -hmm. time she she come with another story, of some 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 guy is doing some crap. But now she's involved. She's a supervisor, but she's a supervisor over over um, over this physical abuse. I don't know if it's any worse or better. I mean, she has, you know, she could, she's got. Three times a week, she's got somebody, some kid who's been killed by the parents. It's overwhelming. It's oh, it is. It really is. It really is. And um, I, I sympathize with that. But that, you know, that that goes along with my feelings here yeah. too, because um, I respect what she does, and I and I, and, and I kind of like. Oh, I just wish you'd reach a point where you were happy with dealing with that and can go to sleep at night knowing that you've done the right decision. Yeah. Um, um, but it's hard. It's it's very hard. Yeah. And the divorce was hard between her and her husband, her ex-husband. My divorce wasn't as well. I say that. Um, two weeks ago was the first the first time that my ex-wife and I, after four years, yeah. were able to sit in the same room. Really? Yeah. That bad? Yeah. She and it wasn't me. It was her. She just couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't do it. So, and then they add this on to it. God, <laughs> let's put it, yeah. let's add it up on the. What, what, what did you get? What, what made you guys separate or leave each other? Well, uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, I, the the woman I was talking about who had to, she wasn't com totally committed to me, but I had I had I had had a relationship with her, mm -hmm. and um, um, her husband was a judge. Maybe go there. Yeah. Uh, but um, and he has made it absolutely miserable for her to move on to anything. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. We, we connected. To, to actually, connected at church. We were. I was an organist, and she was a she was a piano player for one of the groups. And, and we uh, we grew up, and we and I knew her kids. And it was. I, mean, I It was really. It was really healthy. It was really healthy. Except Many predators have trouble forming or maintaining long-lasting, healthy relationships. It isn't unusual for a marriage to last longer for reasons such as staying together for children or religious beliefs. But 
If any of those factors are lost, the marriage will fail. Predators of this particular nature can also develop the inability to be satisfied by a partner of the correct age over time, which also erodes relationships. Except for the fact that he didn't want it to happen and he didn't know what to do when he, when he lost. His, he, lost his, he lost his control. He lost his control. Yeah. And, uh, but the thing is, I've been trying to, over the years, trying to recoup that. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's gotten her independence to the point where I, there's not a control issue anymore. It's a, well, it is, but it's a control issue on her part. Mm -hmm. I, I could care less. Come on, you know, I, I, I love you. It's, it's a, it's a, we, we could have a great life together. I want my independence. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I, mean, I can deal with it. You, it sounds like you made peace with it. I've made peace with it, um, as, as as long as as she understands that I I truly do, to my dying day. Uh, she's the one I love. Yeah. I mean, I really do. I, uh, okay. Sorry. Well, it, it's okay, but. <laughs> That and fifty cents. What does it get you? You know, you end up being lonely because you can't you can't see her. But here's a, here's a perfect example. Uh, last two weeks, she had a a, a breast examination, and uh, it turned out that there was something they wanted to relook at. So they looked at the second time. Mm -hmm. And here I am sitting over here. She can't talk to me because if if her if her kids see me t seeing her talking to me. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the plague is hit. Her 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 ex husband is is there and and, worried, and she's worried about that. Yeah. And she does worry about that. And then comes down to the fact. Well, not only the second examination, but we're gonna have to have a biopsy too. I can't do anything. I can't I can't console her. I can't go into the hospital. I can't I can't I can't say. I can't do anything for her. Yeah for fear that there'll be repercussions from an asshole who really doesn't have any control over it. Yeah. Does it doesn't make sense? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, okay. So so I'm really frustrated in that aspect because the fact is I do care about her and I and and I'm thinking she's gonna die. Her mother died of breast cancer and she's got a couple places. God man, I'm I'm just going through all this shit. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, well, I'll sit in my house and I'll uh, play the music. Yeah. And you'll be gone. Sounds like it does hurt. A lot of emotions, yeah, to deal with. <laughs> What, what weighs you on you? Yeah. And it weighs on you. What? What am I going to? What am I going to say? Well, I'm going to come to the hospital anyway. It just aggravates it. Yeah. So I said, do it. Yeah. My job is great. I have a great job, by the way. Sounds, sounds like it. You, you said you work on... Uh, oh, I love it. Don't take that away from me. I'll fuck you. <laughs> 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 That's oh, the thing I... I, 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 <laughs> well, I, I put the list. I, 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 I just don't take the cordial. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really do love my job. It's, I, uh, I do web pages every day. Hey. Yeah. Everybody okay? Yes. No, we're just crying like shit. Here's his <laughs> Just you missed the emotional him. part. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad for Good. you and for me, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, um, I, um, no, I do, I really do love my job. I, okay. My job is a big job. So we're going to have to be okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we have some housekeeping stuff that we have okay, to take care of do. first. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to go ahead and... Yeah, uh... First of all, I, I, I've asked you about your baby. You said there was nothing in there, no, nothing in there that we should worry about no. anything. You had no problem with looking at. All I'm going to ask you to do, if if you're willing to do, is just. After allowing Roush to ramble, the detectives are finally ready to do the required paperwork.
to search his car. Find it. You're okay with that. Okay. Um, let's see. As long as that's what it says. That's that's what it'll say. And you'll have an opportunity to read it. <laughs> All night long. No, I really do like my job. I do web pages and, and um, I, I go in early. I go in at six thirty in the morning. Uh, I usually stay at about two thirty. At the university. Yeah, come on, Justin. Yeah. And um, sounds good. like a lot of freedom. But actually, it's very the the university of Cincinnati is really well. The people I work for are really flexible about that. I go actually, if a, if if it's a good morning, I'll go in and exercise and, and go to the rec center. And oh that, yeah. And then show up about seven or eight o'clock. Uh, you have a big one for right now. Is it in here? So what's the story on me, guys? Well, right now, let's just do the housekeeping and I can give you a little bit more of a answer here. Uh, is it in here? Yeah. No. Like, do you have more information or something? I'll see if it's in there. What kind of vehicle did you have? It's a uh, uh, Aztec, Pontiac Aztec 2003. 2003. That's what they told me. <laughs> I didn't really know. Yeah. Oh, 2007. <laughs> you know how you know this is in terms of, of being of uh, being somebody who does with web pages all the time. Well, but I think we've we kind of reached that issue, you know, it's you know, we talked about that and I think we will address those issues. Yes. Two thousand three Pontiac Aztec Champagne four door wagon sport utility. That sounds good. How much were you giving me for it? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that case. <laughs> I was ready to sell it a year ago and they wouldn't give me any shit. Uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes. They depreciate so fast oh, as terrible. soon as you pull them off it the lot. It is terrible. Yeah. Let me read it for you. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay. So, and have either one of you taken the master's degree online program at UC? No, have you set it? Did you set it up? I have been there since the very beginning of it, and um, it, it works. I, I'm, I'm pretty pretty much involved with it. Yeah, the works. mechanics of it online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I do the delivery part of it. Mm -hmm. um, they've got top notch people running the program. Yeah, have to look into it. It's about two thousand dollars a quarter. But yeah, you can, but you can complete it in uh, two years. Master's degree. Really? Mm -hmm. Who who accredited them? Um, it's accredited by by. Tell you would ask me. It's accredited by by the people who accred, accredited university education department. Um, you can give them a call. I don't know. Yeah. Um, They, because there's no accreditation department for the criminal justice at this point in the state of Ohio. I don't know if in, in Kentucky where there is or not, mm -hmm. but in the state of Ohio there isn't. Uh, but, um, for the sport. Appreciate that. Yeah. I have to look at it and see. I mean, if you're looking for a master's degree, it's, it's an easy way to go. Um, coursework isn't too bad, a lot of reading. Yeah. I work with all, go ahead. I work with all the professors that, that do their delivery. And so whatever tests they want, whatever kind of, 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 of like we call modules. There's five modules. Every course is a five week course. And it's and again it's about 
to soft come in about about two thousand dollars per quarter. So if you're talking uh, two years, you're talking. Rouch continues to laugh and joke with the detectives as if he thinks that if he talks enough, it will distract them from their original reason for bringing him in. In reality, allowing him to speak freely increases the chance that he will say something incriminating. About 16, quarter, 16 quarters of that depth, about $30,000. Uh, but it gets you a master's degree in criminal justice. It's a master's degree in science, a master of science degrees, try to get master of science degree in criminal justice from one of the top top uh, criminal justice um, programs in, in, the, in the country. Mm -hmm. It's uh, right now UC's number five in the country. And um, these are these are top notch. The, the, prof, the actual professors do look at stuff. I don't know if you know any of their names or anything of your. No. Uh, but, but, but they're they're the people that are changing what what happens. What you guys do day in day out. Yeah. Ha okay. Has their program been really successful? Yes. The online. The online program. We we started uh, five years ago with fifteen students. We now have over six hundred. Wow. And, That's uh, phenomenal growth. Well, and, yeah, and it, it brings in about $2 million a year profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, what am I signing? All right, right. we'll do this first one here. Okay. okay. This is for your vehicle, my circle vehicle, located at Holland Heights Police Department, Holland Heights, Kentucky, 1476. And more particularly describes a 2003 Pontiac Aztec, Ohio plate DG73LC. Good. Idea. And your VIN number. All that? Yes, if I remember. Uh, yeah. Well, most people, you know, some people do know. I grant his consent to Detective Tom Nitschke, which is me. Okay. Uh, known to me, I had to, I marked that out, Detective with the Campbell County Police Department and such other officers deemed necessary to assist. I know that I had a right to refuse to consent, and I have voluntarily given up that right. I know that the agent does not have to have a search warrant. Oh, I'll put, uh, you want to search the fucking car. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, you need uh, to, right? Uh, uh, I have not been threatened or coerced in any way, and I have not been promised <laughs> any favor. <laughs> or kind of said, <laughs> <laughs> no. I had a, I have read this consent form, or it has been read to me, and I understand it. So I understand it. it. Okay, okay. Well, I need you to sign your name there, mm -hmm. print it, and put your address, and then we'll sign this witness. Okay. It's a good thing you asked me to print it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah, we could have uh, made much out of the signature. But that is my real signature. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'll win this here. Okay. Just one other piece of housekeeping here. Okay. I'll watch it. Um, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 you can say MC. Uh, the only other thing is, uh, I know you said you had nothing in, in your house. Do you have anything inside your residence there on? Uh, Brandy Way. Brandy Way. Is there anything in there that would give us any concern? You said you didn't have anything. You you have, the only thing that you would have would, would be the computer things, but you have all the references to that. Okay. Um, Do you have a problem with anybody looking in there and make sure there's nothing, nether, no, nothing of... Well, I want to see my genitalia. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> would you, would you, would you, would you, <laughs> got me off guard there. You got, you got me. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're really you really oh, got me. It's, no, it's, no. it's late. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, there's nothing on there. I don't, I don't keep pornography on there. I don't, and I don't distribute pornography. If somebody wants to go in there and, and, and go through and find a, uh, uh, some sort of program that I have, uh, say, um, um, there's no kitty porn or anything like no, that. No, no, no. And it's it, a, it, 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 all everything that's going to find is an adult stuff. No, I'm not even talking about that stuff. I'm, uh, I'm talking uh, about if somebody goes in, they find out that I have a piece of software that I, I that I have. Oh, uh, like Flores or something. That, 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 that there might be something like that, but I, but there's no, no, I don't do that. I, I'm yeah, go in. All right. You have no problem with that? No. Okay. Well, what I'll do, I'll just do another. 
consent if you don't have a problem with that. Okay, but does that mean that they come in and take my computers away and, 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 re, and cause me a problem not to be able to work? Um, well, that, that could be an issue. Yeah. I mean, also, if there's information, I mean, if they deemed it feels like it could have some information that they may need, yeah, that is a possibility. Um, okay. So give me some some help here. I can't tell you what to do. I mean, I yeah. mean it's, it's up to you. How are you, I mean, if I don't want to seem like I'm not cooperative because I really am cooperative yeah. because I really don't have the kitty porn shit on there. Yeah. If they want to do right. that, if if there's kitty porn shit on there, somebody else has put it on there from some site or something. But in the same regard, I need to be. When Roush says that someone else put anything illegal they might find on the computer, it tells the detectives that there is something there. And that Roush is trying to misdirect them. Be able to use my computer. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I, it's up to you if 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 yeah. you want to consent or not. It's I'm I'm not leaving that up. No, to we you. can't make you any promises on yeah. how quick say, you no, would get it back or not. It? What happens if I don't sign it? Then you don't sign you it. You don't sign it. That's okay. It's, oh, it's only, completely only, only, your call. Okay. okay, but in 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 lieu of the conversation that just we just had. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting you not putting you on on spot, but that that is my reasoning for doing it. That. Okay, that's that's fine. That only means. only I, I have to have I have to have access to my computer. I have to have it in order to do my job. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to force you to you know sign anything that you don't feel you want, and then you understand your reasoning. That's fine, um, and I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I think for right now I don't have anything else. You want to do the statement? Yeah. Do you want to write a statement? Yeah. Let's see. Well, the last thing here, I overlooked it here. Um, would you be willing to write a written statement of what happened tonight? or? Oh, well, I'd like to have this. We have one. Would you like to write a written statement? Oh, your, own, I want? your own written uh, statement. It depends on what you're going to come across with. <laughs> if you come up, <laughs> if you some come up, so it's so negative that, that I'm a pervert and that I want. No, this there. is from you. Yeah. This is what. This is your account of what happened. I, I, I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is, is what I don't know what you have there. So it's it's basically it's a blank statement. It's a voluntary statement. It's blank. Uh, it just lets you know does your it, rights. Does, does it, it lets me know my rights. It lets you know your rights. If I don't put anything, that does that relinquish my rights? No, if you don't, yes. if, you don't if you don't want to. Write anything. You don't have to. Okay. It is totally yeah. voluntary. This is not something I'm. I'm just giving you the opportunity. Okay. I'm just. I'm just trying to be careful because. Okay. I, you know, I know the legal systems and okay. I like to screw around with you. That that is that okay. is fine. Um, I think that's every everything I have for right now. Um, uh, I guess what we'll do is um, you'll go with another officer uh, for right now. Um, you gotta do citation. Yeah, it just uh, just, some, just a little bit of clerical. Just and paperwork so that whenever they get you there, they can process you quickly. Okay, we got this. You want me to grab this? Yeah, is there anything else I need to know about before we go? I'll hang here until you get. No, uh, as of right now, there's nothing I can really tell you right now. Um, other than, you know, um, on this stuff. Uh, uh, just, just sit here? Yeah, just, just, yeah, hang, tight just hang tight and uh, I'll, I'll hang here with you until we get somebody in here, okay? okay. And take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Tough night. No. I mean, it's, I, I don't want to go through this ever again, but... Tough. How old did you say you were? 59. 59. Going on 60. You've seen a lot of life. Mm -hmm. My father was killed when I was three years, two years old. Really? He was shot in the back, and and uh, my mother was uh, seventeen. Wow! And she brought me up and went through all that. And she died uh, a couple years ago. Oh, really? Yep. It's kind of funny. What is? Oh, how, how my sister and my half-sister, and, and they always, you know, they always come back with, you know, you never know. 
You don't. You never know. Um, I'm sorry, it was, I didn't really answer your question, but it, it really does. <laughs> it's, more, it's more intuitive than you think. Um, actually, my mother said something in my history would always come back. And um, her, my mother's brother-in-law was like the um, head of Perhaps Roush was at least telling the truth about being lonely because he certainly takes every opportunity to tell his life's story whenever he has a hostage audience. The Democratic Party in, uh, in um, Claremont County. And uh, he, was, he was corrupt as hell. And I, I really didn't know him very well, but we, we'd go down, we'd have, we could, we could, I mean, this is, we're talking about 30 years here. We go down and we have have uh, rabbit and squirrel in his house. You know, it was it was that down home. And uh, I don't know what she really wanted. There was something in her back in the history, something back in the history of, of, of my family that that uh, not that she wanted to hide, but she just you know wanted me to always keep it low. No, and I always didn't do that. I was, I was an upfront musician. I, I played, I played every country club in Cincinnati. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I played piano, and I, I, you know, I really have. I played it. There isn't a country club in Cincinnati I haven't played. And um, it's funny. I played for for big people. <laughs> I was thinking, and just as we were talking about, thinking about the times that I played from Marge Shot. It's Cincinnati Country Club. I'm sorry, I mean, you're this poor as you, but I'm sorry. We walked in, and Marge and I walked in at the same time. And I said hello. She was a drunkard, just a total drunkard. By the time I finished my first set, they had carried her out of Cincinnati Country Club, stone drunk. Oh, goodness. And uh, this was, this was, Oh, years before all the controversies with the, with the, um, um, with the Reds and all that. This is before she even had a, an ownership of the Reds. Oh, who else have I known over the years? Oh, I've seen Bob Taft and seen Bob Taft's wife in uh, slippers come to a party. Oh God, another another case, another case. Oh, we've played so many, many, many jobs. Wow. So what instrument did you play? I play keyboards. Keyboards? Yeah. And I, I don't do too much of it anymore. I'll play a, I'll play a wedding reception, play just a, like for cocktail music or maybe for an hour. Or play the wedding. I mean, I, I, I played uh, organ too. I played uh, um, for for 24 years out in Milford, Milford's... Uh, Methodist Church. Play wedding after wedding after wedding. Never paid anything. No. And $125 two nights. Oh. I, I played over at the Christian Church over here in Covington a couple weeks ago. One service. One lousy service the week before Palm Sunday. Walked in, did a rehearsal with their choir. 150 bucks. I couldn't believe it. Mm. If that's the kind of money I was making, you know. Yeah. Let me check and see what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom for this one. I don't care. Just take your time. Alright. The detective uses this opportunity to make an escape, leaving Roush alone with his faults. He seems untroubled by them and looks ready to doze off while he waits. With you. A bill full, my keys, my okay. money. Okay, did you have, um, what are those things called? Um, a trio or blackberry? A uh, trio was, was my phone. Okay. We would like to take a look at that. Fine. Would you give me consent to do yeah. so? Absolutely. Okay. So that'd be property. 
and hereby consent to complete search of property located at <laughs> it was on your person right mm -hmm. Okay, and it's a trio? Trio, T R E O. And you had a cell phone in addition to that? No, or it's, it's all it's, one it's, thing? It's my phone. Okay. And is there anything else that I would use to describe it? No, not really. Trio, okay. I grant this consent to. It just has all my addresses and all my people on it. What the day? The time. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I watched I the days actually. We have the time. We have the time. Roush gives them permission to look at his phone, and he seems unconcerned. Then again, many people believe that simply deleting something erases it permanently. So he may believe he has gotten rid of any illegal images. 150, thanks. Well, no wonder I'm tired. Yeah. Let's see, it's 1.50 a.m. Okay, let's go over this and make sure it reads correctly. I hereby consent to a complete search of the property located at on my person and more particularly described as Treo T R E O. I grant this consent to Agent Catherine Reed, known to me to be an agent of the Office of the Attorney General and to such other officers deemed necessary to assist. I know that I have a right to refuse to consent and I voluntarily give up that right. I know that the agent does not have a search warrant. I have not been threatened or coerced in any way, nor have I been promised any favor or benefit. I have read this consent form, or it has been read to me, and I understand it. The date is April 13, 2007, and this time is 1.50 a.m. He's working on the citation. He's almost done with that. I promise. We're going to yeah. get you out of here soon whatever, enough. Whatever, okay? whatever happens, happens. All right. Thanks. Jim? Yes. Can we get the number on that, the cell number for that? I don't really know. You don't, you don't uh, know your I, cell I, number? No, I really don't. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Well, I'll give you a minute to think. It's on the phone. If you could, if you get the, the phone, I, I, I really seriously don't know what it is. I never use it as, I never tell it. Yeah. I call that number. Is there anything else that identifies it as such? I. It's Verizon. I, mm -hmm. I it, it 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 sends directly from my eight three one number from my home number. 
God, I wish I knew what it was. What do you mean it sends directly from your 831 number? I have my 831. My home is always forward to it. I never use my I never use my landline. Okay. I just don't know what the number is. I just it's been so long since I've I've done it. Okay, so you're five one three eight three eight three one nine four two five. Nine four two five. Forwards to that number, whatever Forwards. it is. Forwards. And I really seriously it, it's on the phone. If you if you if somebody brings the phone here, you can get it. It's right there. It tells you. Okay. Um, it's Verizon. Verizon. Um, cell service. I don't know. Sixty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents a month. It's a joke. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know the number. I really don't. Um, okay. I don't even know what it starts with. <laughs> I really don't have any idea what it starts with. Did you get it in Cincinnati? The yeah, service yeah, came yeah. out of Cincinnati? Yeah, yeah, it's over in Beachmont. So it's a 513. Yeah, I just, I just don't know what the next numbers are. I just, I, I'd be guessing. I'd really be guessing. So when you use it, you just give people your landline number? Yeah, and, they and it forwards to my phone. Uh, okay. That's like I said, that's the reason why I don't know. Alright. Um, Alright, well I'll see if that's enough information. If not, we may have to back up and punt. No, I hope not. <laughs> Thank you. Being tired. Hmm. The interview is coming to a close, and now that he isn't performing, Roush looks strained. On some level, he has to know that this is just the beginning of the end. His professional and social lives will, if not be ruined completely, then at least take a substantial hit. There's also the possibility of jail or becoming a registered sex offender. No matter what, his future is looking bleak. On August 10, 2007, Jim Roush was charged with travel in interstate commerce with intent to engage in sexual conduct with a minor. He was sentenced to 46 months in prison and lifetime registration as a sex offender. Since his release, Roush has relocated to Illinois, where he is listed as a level two offender. Thank you for watching. Check out my Patreon link in the description below and drop a like on this video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. I'm always curious to read what you thought of the case.